the tale of two frogs a moral story from japan for four this is the story of two frogs from japan they lived far apart from one another in two different cities one of them asked they live in a beach on a sea coast in osaka the other frog was kyoto and resided in a clear stream that flowed through the city both frogs were separated and miles apart they had never seen or heard of each other one day at the thought struck both of them they decided to see something outside of their own world the frog from the osaka wanted to see how kyoto looked like and uh, kyoto frog was excited to visit osaka thus one fine day the two frogs set off on their respective journeys wishing to make them dream come true both the frogs started from opposite ends of the road that connected osaka and kyoto the journey was long and tiresome the frog faced many difficulties before they came across a mountain that they had to cross to continue their journey it uh, took a tremendous amount of effort for, for both of them to climb up the mountain when they reached the top they both saw each other each frog was surprised to another frog at the top of a mountain the frog remained silent for a few moments and then jumped into the conversation it was it again a surprise to them when they discovered that both the frogs had the same the wish that of their uh, neighboring country and no, uh, no more than it the frog then decided that they should rest for some time before continuing their journey how i wish to be could be much bigger the way we could have the towns from here said the frog osaka the frog from kyoto thought for some time and an idea struck him and he was delighted it is not a problem at all let us both stand our hind legs and support each other on our shoulders then we could easily have the look at the towns we wish to visit he exclaimed as soon as kyoto frog shared the idea with his friend the frog from osaka jumped on his hind legs and held on to his friend's shoulders while the kyoto frog did the same the kyoto frog turned his nose towards the second the frog from osaka turned his nose towards kyoto he held on to other sh- each other's shoulders clinging tightly to keep them from falling off the ignorant frog forgot the fact that the eyes were in the back of the heads even when their noses are pointing in the right direction their eyes could only see the places which had actually left to behind it was a disappointing sight of both of them who oh got kyoto looks very much like osaka there is no point in carrying out the journey any further try the osaka frog his friend was equally disappointed he said had i known that osaka looks like a copy of kyoto uh, i would have never left my home in the first place thus disappointed both the frogs took their hands off from the shoulders of each other and got down on the grass they bid polite good bye and return back to their homes unfortunately both the frogs let their lives till the very end believing that kyoto and osaka are no different towns but they look like mirror images do not believe all that you see what we see may not always be real